Welcome to this demonstration of PTC Windchill CAD Data Management for SOLIDWORKS. I'll be taking you through some of the typical steps that an engineer will do on a day-to-day -day basis within a CAD data environment. The first thing I would like to do is just review the current data that we have in the system and the capabilities available. I'm going to search for a set of data and straight away I come back with some information that contains a rich set of visual data easily allowing me to identify the data I wish to look at. I'm going to pick this assembly, which is going to take me in and show me the structure, where I get a clearly defined visual as bigger visual aspect of it, as well as the structure down the left hand side. This allows me to interrogate the data by either selecting it in the model tree, which then highlights it in the visual area, or by selecting a component in the visual area and highlighting it in the structure. Now let's go and have a look at this integration within SOLIDWORKS. <coughs> in the background, PTC supplies a workspace cache that allows a user to work locally on their data. Here we can see that this workspace contains no particular data available because as we work within the SOLIDWORKS environment, we'll see this start to be populated. I'll be working on SOLIDWORKS 2014 and the current versions of SOLIDWORKS are also supported moving forward. So let's look at working on that same set of data. Winchell integrates directly into the SOLIDWORKS environment give me the capability to navigate and go and find the data as I see fit. So I'm going to carry out and open up this assembly and here we can see as I'm going to get notifications in the bottom right clearly showing me what is actually happening in the background within the data management environment. I'm just going to carry out a few modifications onto this particular design particularly just removing the tabs at the top because the design has evolved uh, for what's actually required. So a very quick modification there to the data. And as we can see at the top, is I actually have a tab that links us straight into Windchill, allowing me to carry out data management activities. Just for the purpose of this, I've just wished to actually save that data. And as soon as I do that, I get a data management notification saying that I need to check this data out because I need to be able to modify it. And I can say OK. Here we can see the notifications updated as well as the workspace has suddenly now automatically filled up with that information and it's given me clearly defined notifications that this data is checked out by me as well as it has been modified. So one of the core concepts is visualization and ensuring that information is readily available. So let's just head back to SOLIDWORKS. And here I'm just going to move back to my assembly. I'm just going to rebuild my assembly to contain that data. And when working with it, I want to now delete these components. So, modified an assembly and a component. Now I've finished with this data, I want to check it back in to make it available to other users. So I'm just going to carry out a, um, a check-in. And the data has automatically been modified and checked in with the same data notification options becoming available. So in the background, all this information is taking place. I'm getting clear, defined information appearing down the right-hand side. And here we can see the check-in is succeeded and all that data is available. That will then allow me now to actually close down SOLIDWORKS because I've finished with my work and also my data management interface. So one of the things I'd like to do now is just go back to the web page and actually take a look at what has changed in that data. Here I can go and select the history and we can clearly see at the top here that I have a new version, A.3, that has just recently been modified. This will also allow me to actually go and take a look at the structure change here. So within that same environment we can see that the structure down the left hand side has changed as well as the visualization information has changed and those components no longer exist. I'd like to thank you for your time and consideration.